Welcome to another tutorial by Longhorn Physics. In this tutorial, we want to solve a problem that involves a series circuit. So here's our problem. We have a series circuit here. We can tell it's a series circuit because the electrons can only flow in one path. We have two resistors. We got a 6 ohms resistor and a 3 ohms resistor. And we have a 9 volt battery. So it says find the current and the voltage in each resistor. So the first step in um, solving for your current and voltage is to actually get the effective or total resistance and that's easy. That's simply by adding up your resistors. So our resistance is 9 ohms. All right. That leads us into step 2. In step 2 we're going to use Ohm's law and I like to use the math triangle because then the math triangle makes it easy to see the algebra. So here is Ohm's law is expressed in the math triangle V equals I times R. So let's go ahead and figure out our current. Our current is our voltage. You know, we know our voltage is 9 volts. We see that right here. And our effective resistance is 9 ohms. So that leaves us with a current. And how the math triangle works is if you're looking for one of the corners, you divide these two. And if you're looking for the top, you multiply the bottom numbers or variables, so it makes it real easy for your brain to see. So I turns out to be 9 divided by 9, which is just 1 amp. And the units for current are amps. So that means the current flowing through each resistor right here is 1 amp. Alright, so in step 3, we're going to apply Ohm's law a couple of times to figure out the voltage drop in each resistor here. So Let's figure, we have our current, which is 1 amp. And so for the first resistor, let's plug in 6 ohms right here. Okay, so that means that to find the voltage drop, we just multiply. And that, let me write that better. That should be I times R. So we've got V equals I times R. So our first voltage drop is just 1 times 6, which is 6 volts. So again, if we apply this again to the second resistor, We know the current stays the same, but in this one our voltage, our resistance is 3 ohms. So our voltage drop for the second resistor is 3 volts. And how do we know we did this correctly? Because when we add these together we get 9 volts, which is equal to the total voltage coming from the battery. So let's just summarize what we had going on in the problem here. We had a series circuit and we know it was a series there's it is a series circuit because there's only one path for the electrons to flow through uh, we calculate the current and we calculate the voltage drop using ohm's law which is just v equals i times r again i like to use the math triangle whenever possible and just real quick how do we know when we can use a math triangle anytime you have an equation with the form like a equals bc a always goes here bc would go here so that worked out perfectly uh, the current through a series circuit is always the same through each resistor. And the voltage drop is always, the total or the sum of the voltage drops through all the resistors is always equal to uh, your, uh, your source, which in this case, let's say it was a 9 volt battery. So we proved it here. We got 3 volts and 6 volts. And that gave us 9 volts. So that is an example of a series circuit. All the uh, tutorials by Longhorn Physics uh, are available um, in some kind of book format at uh, starstudyguide.com. It's S-T-A-A-R, studyguide.com. There's uh, books for worksheets, very interactive. Uh, for example, this Physics 101. A lot of worksheets where you have to go through and practice all the units and know the uh, terminology. And then you finally get some uh, practice problems and it follows with a mini quiz. Uh, there's... Um, quite a few different types of physics books available at that website. If you feel that can that help you better, available in Kindle and by Amazon.